I'm still trying to figure out what I truly want. Because everything mm-hmm. that I asked for in my last relationship, I got. And I and I still was like, okay, well, he's missing this, missing that, missing this. What do I truly want in a man? I feel like, um, and I talked about this with my relationship coach. I have a relationship coach. Shout out to Spicy Madi. She's helping me get my mind together. She's like my therapist. Um, if I really have to decide if I want to date a beta or an alpha man. Mm. And I feel like most men that I've been with are beta men. But I'm attracted to alpha men. Most men are beta men. What is that? That I've been with. with like, just let you lead, I guess? Uh, yes. Like, kind of like, but but here's the thing. Most, the men that I've dated have been beta men, but they want to be alpha. I feel like I need to be with a beta man who is okay with being a beta. Does that make sense? This is your perspective, yeah. It makes you, sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, if saying. you're a beta man, but you want to be an alpha man, you're going to be unhappy. And me being an alpha woman is going to be a turnoff for you. But if you're a beta man and you truly don't mind your woman taking the lead, being the center of attention, making more money than you, then you're okay. You're Can I give you a different perspective? Yeah. I think... This might sound crazy. Just follow me. I think what you're looking for is an alpha male. And what I, why I say that is because a but, beta male... But, and, that, but that's why I'm saying I don't know yet. I'm gonna I don't you, know. Just, I'm going to tell you yeah, my yeah, perspective. Yeah. Yeah. A beta male, right don't know how to let you take the lead. In my perspective, a beta male... No, don't know, that's I'm not... I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. But that's not the definition of beta. All right, let me... Let me, let me what's, let, the, what's the definition? Let's, look, we, it look, let's, let's look, look it up. Let's look it up. Before I get, my, I get canceled. Before, I let's mean, look up the definition. Of, man, we ain't worried about getting canceled. Fuck these niggas. No, I, well, I'm, I ain't scared of these I know. Niggas. I'm being funny. Okay, I'm about to say, fuck them niggas, but... Have you been canceled yet? Nah. Okay. <laughs> but I, I feel like it's no. I feel like it's no. I feel like, it's, like it's, all right. Well, I don't want to be canceled again. Okay, when, I already went through that. That's not true, time. though. I feel like you being canceled made you better. <laughs> yeah. It, it bro- yep. Every dark time. Sure yeah, we are gonna get to that. I was. That's that's in my. <laughs> Wait. Arsenal. Let's look we up the see. definition. Let's of look it up. Let's look it up. Um. Jesus, this definition sucks. What is? What does it say? <laughs> A man who is less desirable than an alpha male. Okay, so what I mean by when I say beta, right? I'm all about I'm big on confidence. So he's more passive, he's more um submissive. Okay. He's more pa- like passive. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of an example. I understand what you're okay, trying okay, to say, okay, but okay, here, okay, here okay, my okay, perspective, okay, okay. right? This is why I think a beta male, I think you want an alpha male. This is why. I think I do too. I'm gonna tell you That's why. What I'm but, saying, but, but I think because of my personality, I should probably try to date a beta. Hear me out though. Okay. A beta, right? When I think of beta male, I think of Lacking confidence. This is my personal opinion, right? I think of uh, somebody. But we can't go on opinion. We got to go on what is the definition of beta. So you said a beta is somebody who's passive, right? Somebody who lets you take the lead. Yes. Right. For me personally, I think you have to exude some type of confidence and be strong in your individuality to allow somebody to have that space. In my opinion, okay. Right. I feel like when you're, we talk about this boss, uh, this boss, right? I feel like a boss is someone who understands his role and can take a step back. I feel like a lot of times when people try to coincide with yeah. that, or they're not, yeah. they're not okay with their position, yeah. Then they try to, like we said, social media, right? They want to post everything. Yeah. They want to, they want to do. Everything in that power to show you that you're not who you are yeah. because I'm this person. Yeah. And, and in my opinion, an alpha is understanding that, okay, my wife makes, might, make, might make more than me, but that's okay because I'm good. Right? Yeah. That's, that's just my yeah. opinion. My wife... But do you think a true alpha is okay with that? that but, and I think that's what makes you an alpha. Being, being mm. able to put your pride to the side. Being so full in your masculinity mm. and being so full in your purpose and... and Shit, and your your God desire that I'm a God fearing man. Nobody can intimidate me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm with a woman and she's working her ass off, that's a good way to look at you it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like alpha men. I don't know. And 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 a lot of times I feel like that pride and ego thing is huge. But when you're living in your purpose and you're and it's bigger than us, right? Yeah. When you're yeah. living in a when you're following God, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like it's different. Like yeah. I'm. Compa- but that's what I'm saying. You don't that when a man knows his purpose. It's easier to date a man that knows his purpose. For sure. Have y'all ever read The Way of the Superior Man? Come on, bro. Don't play with me. You have? Yeah. It's such a good book. It is. I was just talking about it on my last podcast. Yeah. yeah. It's such a good book. I, yeah. I'm not even done with it, actually. I read it all the way through. I, I don't retain information well, so I'm reading it again and taking notes. But um, it's just a good perspective. It's actually for men, but I'm reading it to understand, you know, more of more of a male's... It's a, it's a, it's a great perspective. I think... Um, yes. 
But even going back in it, I think, you know, what happens is in these relationships, since we're here, I feel like a lot of times this is so important. It's a cliche, but we miss it. Mm -hmm. We overlook those red flags, and that's super important. We overlook it because we like somebody, mm -hmm. right? So, like, we start, we fall in lust with somebody. So now, because I like you, I'm overlooking the things that I don't like. But what happens is if you be serious with somebody, they're going to be the same person four or five years down the yeah, line than they, who sure. they were when, when you met them. For sure. And now you're but trying that's to... why I'm like, my next relationship, I have to be their friend first. I have never done that. Mm. I have always been like, I like you, you like me. Moving, it's lit. We're talking or we're dating or it's already a sexual connection there. So it's already a flirtation or... I have never truly been platonic friends with a guy I've been intimate with first, like for a long period of time. The next guy I date, I am going to be his friend. And if I don't like you as my friend, I'm damn sure I ain't going to like you as my boyfriend you, um, or my husband. I actually was just talking about this the other day. These bangs, fuck. Yeah, it's just like, I actually was talking about this the other day, and you, and you sparked this conversation, though. I feel like, let's, let's go there, right? You and Desi Banks. Mm -hmm. Never had. Y'all never did. It was strictly platonic the, yeah. this entire time, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all know each other for years. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should be more open. It's going to sound crazy, but we should be more open to giving our friends a try because it seems like a lot of times we have friends, really good friends, is is, is strictly platonic, won't have nothing going on. It'd be like, if you look through everything, it seems like they'd be the best ones for us, Loki. Like a friend? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. But like, we never get those people a chance because they yeah. just friends. Because you don't want to, like, be mean to your friend. Mm. You don't want to hurt your friend. Thanks. You don't want to break your friend's heart. So when you have a friendship first, it allows you to be more respectful to that person and not just, like, lusting over them. Right. But you say you want to your next Yeah, the next partner, guy I talk to. They want to be a friend. But having having a friend, because you have, I don't know how many, but you've I know, we all know, we can see... Mm -hmm. Uh, Desi Banks, right? Mm -hmm. You have a friend that was strictly platonic and yeah, it was yeah, great yeah. relationships. Do you think you can build that with somebody and then go to take take the step to the next level, though? Yeah, I think so. But uh, that but that also has shown me because of these male friends, there's certain things that because I'm your friend, I know I don't want to be with you. Okay. I've I've seen okay how you treat other women. I've seen your character. I've seen. Not sense. saying it's bad. No, no, I get it. I get but it. But I'm saying because I am so invested in our friendship, and I know you as a real friend, like real fr like farting in front of my homeboys. Right. Like you're my friend, nigga. Like don't touch me. Don't look at me. I know I don't want to be your girlfriend. Mm. You get what I'm saying? That that friendship allows you to know, is this somebody I could really be with or not? So, this conversation. You know what's crazy, though? I feel like they say ignorance is bliss. Yeah. I feel like not knowing something couldn't be attractive to somebody. And what I mean by that is, you know, if you do get to know somebody, your next boyfriend, whatever, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's say you get to know him as yep. a friend. It's so many layers to us as humans yeah. that you could even be turned off by that. So it's like... Is that a is that a pro or a con? Right, being being somebody friend before you make them. No, uh, that's a pro. Let's not make it a con. Let's not make it a con. I just feel like it could <laughs> be if you. It depends because, like you said, your friends that you the friends that you have now that you have for long yeah. long periods of time, you know exactly why you don't want to be with them. Yeah, right. You've seen characteristics yeah. traits in them that yeah. you probably don't want in your man. Yeah, and some I actually could be like, he's a great guy. I would actually be with him. Mm -hmm. So would you try it with whoever that is? Oh, or is the not friendship too strong? attracted to him. Oh, shit. But, I mean, that can be fixed. I've had sex with ugly niggas. So, so <laughs> that being your friend, but, but no, that being your friend, I right? And, 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 and I really like them, too. That being Ew. your friend and you, you respecting that friendship, is it worth trying to go to the next level? This person? Yeah. No. See? How do we know if that's going to be the same situation with the guy you meet that's your friend for years? We don't. Life is trial and error. Damn, life is crazy, man. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs>